Hey, what is going on with My name is Shane Anthony. Welcome back to another Nerf review. Today I'm taking a look at a newly released for 2019 of the Zombie Strike Nail Biter. And yes, this is a spring blaster, or spring operated blaster, well, spring mechanically operated, but excuse me. Uh, that, that's again in the Zombie Strike line, and yeah, it's done to resemble a, a nail gun. Now, if you guys don't know what a nail gun is, it's basically a mechanical tool that uh, carpenters use to like hold boards together which makes sense in a zombie apocalypse you want to board up a house you just you just put put this mechanical thing against something which is like apparently a safety safety release which I don't I don't know because I've, I've actually never used a nail gun before but you put it on and you just squeeze like, the, the trigger and then the, you know, input and it, does, it won't shoot a nail like this but uh, this is modified to kind of fire it uh, yeah, the cool thing about this, and I'll, say is I'll show you in a, in a fire demo, which I also have some sort of, I don't know, like a little bit of a performance complaint about. Uh, this doesn't, as you can see, if this has no priming up here, but typical spring masters, you have your priming like that, and then you would, and then you would pull the trigger. This one, the priming and the trigger is all in this trigger, well, obviously it's trigger system down here, and you just pull that. It primes and fires at the same time. Our prime is supposed to happen before it fires a dart. And uh, yes, it does have an internal clip system. Yes, I am not wrong when I say clip because uh, this this entire thing here it's a clip where obviously this here going to hold the actual nail parts or a nail gun. But uh, yeah, this holds. And yes, this is very loud when you ratchet it. I don't know if my uh, camera will actually pick this up or kind of dampen the sound a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is loud. So uh, yeah, and also the priming function is loud. Obviously, because with all spring blasters, it's loud. But this one, you can't just prime and leave it ready to fire. Because you, this primes and then fires. Whereas other things like the retaliator and other, like, and also the disruptor, you can leave it primed and then wait for your target you know, and then pull the trigger. Whereas this one, it primes like yeah obviously this will not be an ideal for zombies sure because again yes this is loud but uh, yeah enough of that about that now, again taking a look at detailing again it's in the orange zombie strike uh, paint you have the zombie strike logo here uh, you obviously you have the nail gun hit which you do have the end strike now a little attachment point as well as the stock back here which if you have any inch of barrels, it fits. I, I've tested it. And uh, yeah, you also have a tactical rail down the bottom. I don't know what, what you put down here. Like, you want to put a light down here or anything, or you want to put the twin slice, which, which I did which I did review earlier. But uh, yeah, and also coming out here, you can see the nice detailing because you do have gears here, which I guess, which apparently, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually part of a Runa gun. Now, for safety concerns, don't actually, don't actually play with a nail gun because, yeah, you might actually end up having some nail. Nails are sharp and pointy, and it's done to hold boards together. Now, obviously, this, obviously, this is just is a toy, so obviously you could shoot yourself with it. Granted, it, it'll hurt. I do have a complaint about the actual. Just if you're interested in performance, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna check. He does a wrapped around handle. And uh, yeah, as I mentioned, we eat up the safety lock thing. But yeah, but this, since this is a nail gun, it's designed to actually stand up. But I don't actually have a well, I can block my camera. But uh, yeah, it stands up perfectly. I know you guys can't see it because you couldn't see my hands. But uh, yeah, to actually load, I mean, you, you can clearly see that it has like some free, free sending holes where you actually put these darts. Again, these are just regular zombie strike darts. But yeah, it works with elite darts. And modulus starts, but yeah, these are just recolored uh, modulus elite or recolored elite starts. But uh, yeah, you want to reload, you can you just slide the clip all the way up. But yeah, when you fire this, this in well, internal clip goes up so you can reload. And once you have, have it reloaded, you just push it down. And well, since I don't know if you guys see it, but it's not if you push all the way down, it's not actually lined up with the actual barrel, so uh. Yeah, so you, so you can actually line it up perfectly. So uh, yeah, 
Now that should show you the firing thing. You just squeeze this and it, and it actually fires. It both primes and fires. Do it again. Yes, that is actually loud. Well, apparently skip the dart. I don't, well, apparently, well, if you wanna, well, for the first one, apparently, oh, well, I only have five, three darts. Uh, hmm, yeah, well, apparently, that's kind of a goof so I'm gonna leave, leave on the recording, but uh, yeah, if it's, not down here, it'll prime and then it'll go up and then that fires, that clicking fires. So yeah, you don't really want to align it perfectly with the actual first hole, which I just apparently just found out that I fired three dogs in my room. I don't know, I don't know where they went, but uh, mm. so yeah, if you want to load, it after, look, let's say if it's empty and you have it loaded, you just push all the way down and then when you prime, it, it'll it'll fire the first one, so you don't have to line. If you line it up, it'll skip. Line up with the first one, it'll skip. Like scratch all that, but uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. Now my complaint with this is that I, I did a chronograph test, and it achieved well below sixty feet per second, which is below the Nerf uh, standard of seventy feet per second. Uh, again, this is not. This one probably would not be practical for a performance blaster, but uh, yeah, if if you want to use it for, like, if you want to use it for a zombie or HVZ, yeah, this would be ideal. But uh, yeah, again, for performance, way well, well below sixty, well, I was achieved below sixty feet per second of velocity. Uh. Not not really ideal for a PvP, but PvE thing, yeah. But uh, yeah, again, firing, again, again, you line up with the with a, with a used or with an empty hole of, on this clip, and you pull the trigger with a prime. It skips the next one and then fires. So uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my review of the Nerf Zombie Strike Nail Biter. Yeah, apparently I also noticed, well, it doesn't actually say nail biter on top, but it says nail biter right here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but uh, yeah, in a certain light, yeah, nail biter. But uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new. I really join new subscribers, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and fire buds.